I have to take a walk every night or every day, half hour walk, and I do it at night. And there's all these leaves and they're marvellous colour. So I just picked up a whole lot to think to, because they were interesting. And then when I come and look at them, you know, they, they are all these different images. Well, I just I just thought they were so interesting because there's so many of them and they're, you know, they look so amazing on the floor in the evening. Uh, they're, they're very light in the dark passages and, and uh, dark in the um, other passages. You know, they change the, whether they're in the shade or whether they're in the light. You see the colour more or less. And um, so it was just interesting to bring them home and, and think about them. The minute I looked at it, I mean, I can see a, a million different things. I can see a whole lot of different things in them. Because I find it interesting that you have the drawing and then you move on to painting on paper and yes. then you plan your painting so precisely. Well, yes, but, but it takes a lot of drafts to get there. I haven't got a lot of drafts for that one, but it takes, you know, you want to put everything in and how you, it, it's important where you put things in and so on and so on. Well, I think you just have, I mean, it's just on rubbish paper. Um, I mean, they're just playing with heads and so on. So you just play with it until you can get something out of it. Yeah. And if you can't get anything out of it, you don't pursue it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the leaf, or one of the leaves that I picked up. And it just looked, well, it's a, it's a hand, um, it's a crown, it's all sorts of things, and it has little landscapes in it. So th that's the the um, the multiple things, some of the multiple things it has in it. And so I did the drawing, which was that, of it, um, which is fairly literal, and then I stylize it. You know, you make the dark darker or whatever, whatever. And when I was um, doing it, it seemed to have two different sizes and you can see it more in the picture that I've developed up you know the dark side and the light side but there's almost on the dark side there's almost a leering face can you see these are this light almost becomes eyes so and then this side here isn't altogether innocent it's also um, being deceptive it's it's you know, with the way the leaves curl and things, it's saying one thing, but meaning another, as it were. And the minute I got, I saw that, and I realised it wasn't just the good man and the bad man. It seemed an interesting thing because people do say what they don't really mean, because they really mean something else. And I thought that was an interesting, serious thing to take this. And the, the title I, I thought of as I was doing the drawing was The Smiling Killer, which I think I wouldn't, I think that's too hard, but this is just my sort of directions. That's what it really is, The Smiling ki Killer, uh, The Hand, The Landscape, but also The Triumph, The Triumph Above One. And... Um, and it seemed that I've got all that there. So it's, it's building, building that up uh, into something more. And, well, you can see that some, I mean, this is, this is um, not the only draft, but this was the final draft. But uh, it wasn't wide enough. The picture was the wrong shape. So, that, you know, I had to sort of add that on to make it right. And, um, yes, well, uh, th that shape, because I've, I've used that shape a lot in different pictures for, for the innocent one. I don't know why, it's, but it's because it's displaying everything. And I know it, it, it is actually the iron that I, I use to iron clothes if I ever do. But <laughs> it, it has a, it, it's the shape of a face and, and somehow the way the, the dots are has a, an innocence about it, I thought. That was the tracing. I, did, I can tell you, it's laborious, the tracing. It takes a week to do that because you've got to get it accurate and you've got to get it that side and then you've got to do it that side and then you have to t t take it onto the thing. 
I'm, I'm not a this sort of person. I mean, some artists are. Some artists are, uh, are hand, 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 uh, are, are hand people like that, and they think, you know, there, there, there used to be an idea that art wasn't art unless it was that, and it's related to the genius, you know, the genius hand. Well, I don't go along with that. Um, I, I'm, I'm not interested in that, but I am interested in this business of trying to write essays about whatever it is. How do you feel like your practice has changed from when you first started painting? I don't really now? think it has changed very much. I, I think I've just stopped being doubtful. Uh, uh, I think when I was young, really my job was sort of sticking to my guns, I suppose. And it wasn't easy. But um, but then later on, when you get a bit older, I mean, by the time you're 40, you, you sort of sorted that difficulty out. So it's, it's really just sticking to your guns and trying to to find your, your way around. Colours don't come out of tubes, they come out of your head. Yeah. So you, you've, got, and you've got to play, you know, a, a colour depends on, on what it's next to. Uh, so so you, you're, if, you, if you want to have a yellow there, you, it may not be a yellow that you present there. It depends on what's surrounded. And, and of course, to check it up, you've got to stare. Uh, and, and the minute you stare for, um, in time, something will jump out as to this or to that, so you'll knock it back or bring it forward or something like that. But you won't see it all until you spend time with it. And so hopefully, I mean, actually, the viewers need to spend time too. And the problem is you, move, you, you amend one thing and very often you amend something and it makes the whole thing go different. So then you've got to amend a whole lot of other things. <laughs> yeah. That's the timing. That's what, what takes the time. If you could just leave it like that, well, that's okay, but, you, but you, that's just the idea. And it's, it's, uh, it's building it up that, that gets you into trouble. <laughs> I mean, you never, nobody ever knows what they really do because plenty of the, an artist's rhetoric is just rhetoric. And that's why you've got to have the viewer for the verification. And, um, and if you don't get the verification, you're left with wondering whether you've really done what you think you've done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.